We are in the best national park in the United States and we're gonna show you why. In the last year, we've been to Grand Tetons not once, not twice, but three times because that's how much we love this place. It keeps drawing us back in and we're gonna show you the top eight places and things you can do in the next 48 hours. Let's get it. So we will be exploring the Tetons with another van life couple. So this is Roth, <laughs> Shayna, hey. and Vinny. <laughs> To start out, we're going to be doing the 42 mile loop road, which goes around the entire Tetons Park, and it encompasses two different roads, Highway 191 and Teton Park Road. Just note that the loop is only open from May through October and closed during winter months. Note that it does cost to get into the park. You can pay the daily rate or you can buy the annual pass like we are. Ours just expired from last year, so we're getting a new one because we intend on going to a lot of parks this year. As we head into the park with Vinny, Ross and Shaner are way ahead of us because they had to get there early to the Jenny Lake parking lot because they will be doing the Hurricane Pass Trail, which is 22 miles there and back. They took the ferry to get to the other side and we'll have to take it back unless they want to do an extra four miles there and back. So we made it to the Jenny Lake parking lot and 90% of the time this place is packed, overflowing with cars. But if you come a little later, you'll be able to find a spot. And the reason it's so packed is because it's kind of the epicenter of the best things to do here. You have the visitor center, Jenny Lake is awesome for swimming and kayaking. And you also have Cascade Canyon, which is the start of some awesome epic hikes. So let's go. When it comes to mountain lakes, alpine lakes, it doesn't get better than Jenny Lake which is right behind me. This is one of my favorite lakes in all of the US. It's a truly, it's a gem. Unbelievable, clear water, turquoise blue, but it doesn't get better than this. So behind me is the boathouse for the Jenny Lake Ferry, and you can take the ferry from here across to the other side, and it's really easy. It's $18 for a round trip for an adult, but if you come here as the first person, it's from seven to seven, if you come here at 7 a.m., you get it for a discount. And also this Jenny Lake Loop is really awesome for all kinds of people, regardless of fitness level. And even last year we saw a bear here and a moose. So if you do not make the ferry, then you can start the trail, which we're on right now, which goes around Jenny Lake. We've done Cascade Canyon up to Lake Solitude. Amazing, so Which beautiful. was beautiful. And then our friends, Shana and Ross, right now are doing Cascade Canyon all the way to Hurricane Pass. I've done that in the past as well. Beautiful hike. 22 that's, miles. That's 22 miles. <laughs> and I hope that they make the last ferry because right now it's 7 p.m. The last ferry is supposed to be coming. We kind of just are waiting for them to see if they're going to make it while we do our little hike. We're just doing a little leisurely hike today. Not going as deep and as far as them. And hopefully they do make it. Otherwise at 22 miles turns into 26. No, 24 miles. Just heard you. Congratulations for making it over and out. <laughs> Imagine going 22 miles and not making the boat and having to go another two miles after it. That'd be crazy. Just by missing it by a couple minutes. But they waited for them. That's their boat. We're gonna go meet them up. They're alive. Woo! <laughs> How do you guys feel? Oh Dad. my gosh, I don't think I can move. <laughs> was it worth it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we ran the boring. whole second half. Yeah. Just a little oh. boring for our uh. case, but you know. What's here? What's here? Oh, come down here. Here, Poppy. Hi, Ryan. Right, right. oh. <laughs> but this You're is what 30 37 five. looks like. No. You're 35. No, You're I'm 36. I'm turning 37. This is what 37 feels like. <laughs> This is unbelievable. The bison blocking my shot, bro. We gotta get to Mormon Row. Gotta make it to Mormon Row before it gets way too dark. So we're here at Mormon Row. So basically, Mormons came over in 1890 from Idaho and they clustered their farms together, which was really different from the Western homesteaders. And then in the mid 1900s, the Teton National Park acquired it and now it's the most pictured place here in Grand Most picturesque place in Grand Tetons. 
So we've been to Mormon Row a few times and the best time is honestly sunrise. It's just absolutely stunning. There's so many colors. Right now we're here at sunset, but it's not a bad view either. For accommodations, we're staying on BLM land right outside the park, but if you're looking to stay in the park, you can stay at Coulter Bay, which is one of the biggest campsites in Grand Tetons, or you can stay at Jenny Lake campsite, which is one of the most sought after campsites for the views, but you have to book it on recreation.gov. It might be hard to see the mountains behind me, but the sun is going down. It's a beautiful sunset. Got the fire going. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves here around the fire. Get ready for tomorrow, because we got a big day. Man, this place is just the best. Grand Tetons has the best bike path out there, better than any national park we've ever been to. The bike path stretches all the way from Jackson and it goes around the entire park and it lines up perfectly with the mountains so you have the best view and you're exercising, best of both worlds. So we're gonna hop on the bikes now and go for a good ride. Probably haven't been using our bikes as much as we want to, but this is the time to use them. I've been waiting since we've got this van. This is the place I wanted to ride our bikes in. So honestly, getting our bikes here and taking them all the way and using them finally has been awesome. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. I love this place. I've already told you my favorite place in all of America. So. Jackson Lake is a lake located in northern Tetons and it's beautiful, natural, and it was expanded by the dam. Overall, just great views overlooking the mountains. So it's been probably more days than I'd like to say on here since I've showered or taken a bath or washed my body or anything. So let's get a little refreshing lake bath in and test out the waters. And now we're clean for another four days. <laughs> we're on the north side of Coulter Bay. So this is kind of where you can come swimming and then the south side is more like a viewpoint. So behind me is Oxbow Bend. The view is amazing. Really easy, quick stop on the side of the road. But I would recommend trying to get here during sunrise because the views are just amazing. And then also, it's not uncommon to find a lot of wildlife on the other side of the river here, but beautiful view, really easy to do. Bring your dog with Vinny. Ferris is now a dog person. Go. Gonna happen. Is it coming? <laughs> we made it to the town of Jackson, which lies just outside the park. We parked at the Welcome Center because they have room for oversized vehicles, clean bathrooms, and good Wi-Fi. It's also a great spot for a little van powwow before heading downtown. So the town of Jackson is basically a square with this park in the middle. There's a bunch of people eating pizzas and just hanging out, watching the sunset. But across the street are a bunch of restaurants, shops, coffee shops, and just a really cool place to hang out. So it is afternoon right now, so this place is closed down, but behind me is Cowboy Coffee, which is my favorite coffee shop, not just in Wyoming, but pretty much all of America. You gotta come in here in the morning and get a cup of coffee. Guaranteed, good spot. Depending on how the night goes, we may or may not end up at the Million Dollar Cowboy Bar. That's the place to go. The local watering hole, live music, seven days a week. We'll see, we'll see if we get a little rowdy, a little cowboy in us tonight. Howdy. The general plan is to get a good burger. We're gonna go to Liberty Burger. Yeah. We're gonna get a good burger and then we're gonna go get some ice cream at Moose. It's the best. Walk around town. There's a ton of shopping to do. Maybe get a drink. Very cowboy-esque. Very Wild West. Wild, wild, west. wild. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Just got the text. Liberty Burger Bar table is ready. Go in there now. Uh, I needed a burger. Not our average pizza bar. The burger is really good. Now off the ice cream. Two scoops. Two scoops. 
Normally they're open until 9.30. Of course we were here on the wrong day. Didn't get my ice cream. I love moose, but not today. Aww, Damn that's moose. sad. <laughs> Since we're not getting ice cream, we are going to Cowboy Bar. Gonna get a drink, maybe two, three, four. That wraps up our Tetons Top 8. I absolutely love this park. Hope you got some information out of here. Hopefully you can use this to your advantage and hit all these spots. 48 hours easy. If you wanna spend more time, you can. If you love the video, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up. See you in the next one.